don't you just love that first sip of coffee in the morning it is just freaking amazing what's going on guys welcome to another episode of the uprising series Joe SPN here and today I have some amazing amazing freaking news besides this great coffee because are you ready guys it is finally happened it has finally happened we have freaking halo top in the netherlands we have the chocolate chip cookie dough over here we have the sea salt caramel over there we have the chocolate flavor over here and the peanut butter cup flavor over there I'm so freaking excited about this guys and my favorite flavor up until now is the chocolate chip cookie dough but the sea salt caramel is also so freaking good freaking freaking nice but my girlfriend's favorite flavor is the peanut butter cup I'm not really a peanut butter fan so that's why I don't really like it but it's not bad it's really good also but uh, it's not my favorite and then the chocolate flavor over here just tastes, li tastes like a, a frosty from Wendy's if you've ever had one I mean they are so freaking good and I am so freaking excited about this we came across the ice cream the halo top ice cream at the supermarket at the Albert Hang uh, just last week just last week so if you have not seen them yet then keep an eye out at your local Ibrahang and uh, for the Halo Top because they are here in the freaking Netherlands yes alright so I was thinking about what to talk to you guys about while I'm fixing my bike over here and uh, the weirdest thing just happened I mean a guy came up to me and started asking me questions about the vlog and what I was doing so it was a pretty interesting conversation and fun conversation but uh, there you go something to talk about in front of the camera so as I was telling you guys I need to fix my bike because I have no freaking brakes currently on this thing man so it's pretty dangerous to be riding the bike in this way and this is the main method of transportation here in the Netherlands I mean I do own a car but uh, sometimes I just want to take the bike outside and enjoy the beautiful weather because it is pretty nice weather today but anyways I'm gonna get going before they close down the shop so I can get okay that was uh, pretty quick and uh, I think pretty cheap I mean I do not know what they usually charge for fixing the brakes on a bike but I just needed to fix I mean uh, the cables both of the cables the front and the back brakes were broken so uh, they charged me 35 uh, euros for both of them and I just need to come back uh, on the Monday and uh, we'll be ready so uh, it's pretty nice and the place is also not so far from my home so I can just walk and in about 10 minutes I'll reach the place so uh, in today's video guys I wanted to talk about maintaining muscle well you're cutting while you're trying to lose uh, body weight while you're trying to lose body fat because well that is what we all want right we work so hard during the bulking period to build a great amount of muscle after that we want to cut down lose the extra body fat that we got on the bulking period and eventually just be shredded and have an amazing aesthetic physique with as much muscle as possible but wait a second let's appreciate the vitamin D we are getting right now because it is freaking nice it is such an amazing day actually a bit warm so I thought it would be a bit colder but it's definitely not so as I was saying guys we want to maintain as much muscle as possible at least I do I mean, your goal might be just to be healthier or it might just be to um, uh, just to lose weight in general you don't care about muscle but I mean, who doesn't care about gains? Really, really bro. So yeah guys, I'm going home right now and then I'm gonna take some pre-workout and we're gonna be hitting an amazing, amazing workout, a leg session and then I'm gonna talk a bit more about things that you can do and then how I approach a, a, a fat loss, I mean face, while trying, you know, to maintain as much 
muscle as possible so let's go okay so we're getting ready to go to the gym and i have been using this pre-workout for the last couple of weeks and i must say i like it a lot man because the flavor is good it is the sour gummy bear flavor and it does give me that extra focus and really push that i need on days that i'm tired from work what i don't like that much is the tingly feeling that it gives me because it has a pretty good amount of beta alanine 3.2 grams per serving so what i do is uh, not use a full scoop so i need to use like a, a three quarter of a scoop and uh, then it'll be good because if i use a whole scoop then i'll go crazy freaking crazy in the gym man so we are gonna be using just too much you'll go crazy mm, there you go mm -hmm. <coughs> okay that's right there that's good right there but three quarters of a scoop with a little bit of water that's it <coughs> and i also do put five grams of creatine in there okay there you go i use like a heaping scoop that's it and that's that all right mix it up mm. it tastes pretty damn good this is a pretty nice flavor man the sour gummy bear now if you want to get yourself a new pre-workout and if you want to explore different pre-workouts then I have a link for you guys because I'm affiliated with a company called Pre-Workout Expert. So if you guys are looking for a new pre-workout, then click that link in the description down below. And if you use my code JOESPN10, you will get 10% discount on your order. So take a look at the website and see if you guys like anything and uh, yeah. Alright guys, so how do you guys maintain as much muscle as possible while being on a diet? That was one of my main concerns when I first started lifting because I, well, I was a bit scary of losing all of the gains that I had made at the beginning, you know? So uh, I was very stressed and really concerned about how do I make sure, you know, that I just maintain as much muscle as possible. And to be honest, uh, the fact that we are natural athletes, I mean, you gotta be a bit, uh, a bit careful with uh, what you're doing because indeed you don't want to be uh, wasting muscle and burning muscle while burning body fat, okay? And uh, as you guys can see right there, I almost died uh, with that last rep that I did uh, on the squats. But I I wanted to use a leg workout specifically because well legs have never been a strong point you know for me but however during this last uh, cutting period I was able to maintain uh, all of my strength to be honest I kept all of my strength on the squats with you know missing a few reps here and there but for the most part I did stay uh, the same on my squats and uh, that was something I was really, really happy with, guys. Now, uh, I'm going to give you guys the first tip right here. And that is going to be do not drastically drop on calories. I mean, I know that you might want to get shredded as soon as possible and lose all of that excess fat that you might have. But think about it. You did not get fat or overweight on, or have that uh, high amount of body fat overnight it didn't happen overnight so it's not gonna drop off overnight it's going to take time and if you want to maintain uh, as much muscle as possible during that period that you're in a caloric deficit then you should take it easy okay and slowly slowly drop those calories okay and slowly make that progress okay it's going to take time and the sooner you realize that the more muscle you will stay with okay so that is tip number one tip number two is going to be go heavy go heavy do not be lowering the weight okay you need to stay focused you need to keep going heavy even on the days that you might feel like you know today it's time to lower the weight mm -mm -mm. do not lower the weight keep on going if you really not feeling it then lower the reps but do not lower the weight, okay, guys? That is the way that you make sure and tell your body, you know, tell your muscles that, uh, hey, I still need to 
these games so do not go anywhere okay so although you might be feeling fatigued and everything just keep on going and the last tip that I have for you guys tip number three is going to be track your progress and track your workouts okay this goes hand in hand with the last tip because if you're tracking your workouts you know exactly how much weight you're lifting every single week and this way you're constantly conscious about the amount of weight that you're actually lifting for example in the, on the squats knowing how much weight you're actually lifting every single week helps you get rid of the tendency of lowering the weight as soon as you start feeling the effects of the dieting okay guys all right guys so those are my three tips on maintaining as much muscle as possible during a dieting period all right guys thank you so much if you made it all the way through the end of this video it does mean a lot to me so thank you so much for watching and if you made it all the way through then let me know in the comments down below all right comment we are embedded in the comments down below and let me know that you stay till the freaking end all right but with that being said guys i'm gonna finish off this video right here remember as always that i'm a certified personal trainer so if you're looking for a workout routine a meal plan or an online personal trainer then hit me up on embeddedbodies.com so if you enjoyed this video then don't forget to a like on this video and let me know what you think of it in the comments down below all right so guess i'll see you soon later guys